Well, what I'm going to tell you now, everybody pay attention, is dream characters don't wake up. That, you, you will never find a dream character that wakes up because the definition of being asleep is that there are dream characters or that there ever were. You see, the ego generated them. And so, if the ego generated, whatever the ego generates, which is the dream characters, they don't wake up. They're just figures, they're just images that are projected onto a screen and the only thing that awakens is the mind. The very idea that you believe in these characters is the definition of sleep. So there's only one mind and there's only one dream and your only responsibility is to be happy and joyful and realize you are the dreamer of the dream and no other cause does it have. So let me go deeper into this question of this, you are the dreamer of the dream, singular, there's one dreamer, there's one dream. The ego made up a trick to keep you from experiencing the simplicity of salvation and, and Jesus talks about this pretty late in the text. Jesus says, According to this ego dream, there's two parts. There's a surface part, which is the face of innocence, and then there's this dark, unconscious part of, of the dream, and he calls the surface part the face of innocence, and he calls the bottom part, he calls the dream that you dream in secret. So there's the word, secret. Everything in the unconscious mind is pushed out of awareness. All that darkness, all that anger, all that hurt. It's almost like you sealed the dream and it was a, with the, sealed the darkness by making a pact with the devil, swearing that you would never go down and, and look at that, that premise. And Jesus is saying there's nothing but light and love under that hatch. God doesn't hate you at all. God is not angry. God is, would never punish you, God is pure love. There's nothing but light if you go down to that fourth obstacle, fear of God's love, and you go through that hatch. You'll just, you'll spring into heaven if you go through that hatch. But the ego doesn't even want you to come close to that master switch, doesn't want you to come close to that release point. Because if you open that hatch and it's all light, guess what? There's no ego. <laughs> Perfect love cast out fear. If you open that hatch that you swore never to open with, to the ego, you're just going to find out that there's only light. <laughs>